Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Fabiano Caruana. This is a game from the Clutch International 2020 Rapid Tournament. Magnus Carlsen had white pieces and he started with c4, the English opening. Maybe Caruana played e5, knight to c3, knight to f6, g3, bishop to b4, white to move, bishop to g2 is the most played move. White also plays queen to c2 and knight to d5. Carlsen played e4. Interestingly, players didn't think highly about this move. Maybe they will change their mind after this game. We don't know. Bishop takes on c3. Pawn takes bishop. B takes on c3. And Caruana castled kingside. If knight takes on e4, then queen to e2 was the idea. Back to our game. Castling. White to move. Bishop to g2 seems like the most logical move. Maybe d3. Carlsen played f3. b5. I guess c takes on b5 was expected. d4 was played. e takes on d4. c takes on d4. Pawn takes pawn on c4. White to move. Carlsen played e5, the best move. If bishop takes on c4, then d5. Back to our game. e5, attacking the knight. Knight to d5. And now bishop takes on c4, attacking the knight. Bishop to b7. Knight to h3. d6. Intending to open the e-file, maybe. Carlsen castle king's side. Knight to d7, rook to e1, d takes on e5, d takes on e5. Knight on 7 to b6, attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, queen to e7. It is white to move, and this is very important moment of the game. I guess bishop to g5 seems like a Natural move, you want to develop all your pieces. But Carlsen played this awesome move, e6, sacrificing the pawn for a deadly attack. Let's see what is the idea. f takes on e6, and now knight to g5. Defending the pawn. Queen to c2. Threatening to take on h7, and black is in trouble. Rook to g6 was played. Caruana considered g6 and then like bishop to b2. And where is the rook going? So he found a solution by playing rook to g6. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this killer move? Rook takes on e6. Kaboom. Black to move. How to capture the rook? Queen takes on e6. Rook takes on e6 is even worse because of queen takes on h7 check and after king to f8, queen to h8 check. Mate back to our game. So in this position, queen takes on e6 was played, knight takes queen, rook takes knight, bishop to b2, rook from a to e8, bishop to d4, king to h8, queen to f5, intending bishop to c2 in some variations, bishop to c8, queen to h5, c5, let's take it back. If some random move, then queen to f7 is unpleasant. c5, attacking the bishop. Bishop takes on c5. Rook to e5, attacking the queen. Queen to f7. Bishop to h3. 
not giving up yet. It is white to move. Watch this brilliant move. Bishop to f8, threatening a checkmate on g7. Rook to e1, check. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook, check. King to f2. Rook to f1, check. King to e2. Knight to c3, check. King to d3. And Caruana resigned. There is no serious defense against queen takes on g7. So let's play a random move. And then queen takes on g7. Check, mate. Congratulations to Magnus Carlsen for winning the tournament. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.